What's going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Jared Hamilton, if you don't know that already. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about how to freaking determine where your calorie range should be for weight loss, okay? So, if you follow my content at all, you know I'm the biggest fan of counting and tracking your calorie intake because in all honesty, whether you're following a keto diet, an intermittent fasting diet, uh, eating eight times a day diet, or uh, Beach Body, Adkins Weight Watch, all these different uh, protocols, all these different systems of dieting, I don't care which one you do, but the one thing you have to abide by if you follow any of those programs to lose weight is you have to be in a calorie deficit. Yes, there's ways to optimize stuff and all this other junk out there, but for most people, if you just eat in a calorie deficit, you lose weight. That is the number one step to actually losing body fat is you have to be in a calorie deficit. You can eat all the organic, vegan, uh, high quality foods you want, but if you're taking in too many calories, more than what your body burns on a consistent basis, you will not lose any weight, okay? So then the question comes down to, okay, Jared, well then how do I know how many calories I'm eating? How, how do I know? Here's the thing. Oh, there are a thousand calculators online. There are a ton of calculators online to figure out that will tell you that you'll put in your, your uh, age, gender, job, height, weight, body fat percentage, all this stuff. And some are more accurate than others, but all of them are estimates. All, blah, I can't pronounce anything. All of them are just estimations. None of them are perfectly exact. You burn exactly 2,172.8 calories every day. There, our calorie burning changes every day depending on how stressed we are, how um, how our workouts are, if we're busy jobs, don't have busy jobs, male, female. There's so many things that on a day-to-day -day that change. That's why calorie ranges are estimations. So even at the most accurate estimation isn't completely black or white, right, wrong, okay? Here's the thing. The best way, I'm going to give you two ways to calculate your estimated calorie intake. Here's the thing. One is more accurate, but one's really quick, okay? So I'm gonna give you two. The best way, in my opinion, to estimate your calorie intake is to track meticulously everything you eat for like one to two weeks, okay? Eat a day in the life of you and track your calories for a full week, then two weeks, and then monitor your progress. If you gained weight, you were in a surplus. If you lost weight, you were in a deficit. If you stayed about the same, most likely that's your maintenance, what, what your body burns every day. But most people I know are impatient as fuck and um, don't want to do that for a week. That's what I have the majority of my clients do. I say, hey, track your meals for the rest of the whatever, and then I'll figure out the rest. That's what I do for my clients. But if you're just wanting to kind of get a good estimation and then go from there, the best thing to do, the easiest, and I will get some hate from this, oh, this isn't as accurate as this, this isn't as accurate as this, whatever. To get you in the ballpark, okay, of what you should be eating every day in terms of calories is just take your body weight, multiply it by 10 to 12. That's it. Take your body weight and multiply it by 10 to 12. So if you're 150 pounds, that's what, 1,500 to... Is it 1800? I can't do math in my head worth shit. Um, but yeah, so you get what I mean. So that's the thing is with all of this, that even that still is an estimation. So the best thing to do is if you're like, okay, so if I weigh 150 pounds, I'm gonna multiply it times 10, that's 1500 calories. Rock 1500 calories. If you gain weight, obviously you're in the wrong direction. Dial that down. Or if you lose weight, okay, that's good. But the goal when losing fat is to be able to eat as many calories as possible and lose weight. Too often people lose a little bit of weight, they cause a little bitty deficit, and they try to lose some weight, and then they're like, oh, maybe if I make a big deficit, I'll lose lots of weight. The only problem with that is the, you, you want, the goal is to eat as much as possible because you don't want to have too much of a deficit where you burn through muscle tissue. Your body can only burn a given, um, so much body fat in a given amount of time. You go beyond that, your body burns the good stuff. You know, that's why I'll see people try to speed their, their weight loss process up by eating in an 800 to 1200 calorie deficit where their body burns about 2200 calories a day and they end up eating 1000 a day. You know, that's not a sustainable or a good way to do it. The goal is to eat as much food and calories as possible while losing weight. It gives us more room to play with and tweak stuff. So start with that. If you don't want to 
just kind of test your stuff for the next week or two. Just multiply your body weight times 10 to 12. Yes, men burn more calories than women because of testosterone and hormone profiles. And yes, more active jobs. That doesn't count active jobs versus non-active jobs versus workouts, not workouts, whatever. 10 to 12 is gonna get you in the ballpark. It's gonna get you on the target. And then what you do is dial in from there. So if you lost weight, let's, let's give that example of a 150 pound person. 150 pound person, or 150 pound person, which is 15 to 1800 calories a day, pick a number, 1500. You lost weight, try eating 1800. Lost weight, okay. 1900, still lost weight. Okay, 2000, stop losing weight. Okay, back it down to 1900. See what I mean? All nutrition is, is tweaking, dialing in it. That's what, what I do as a coach, is I work with somebody, I dial in their nutrition. I'm the one that's picking their numbers. I'm saying, okay, based on all this information over here, a lot more stuff than just 10 to 12 times your body, your body weight, but out of all this information, I'm like, okay, let's start with this calorie number and this protein number, or whatever I'm working with, whoever I'm working with. And then we dial it in. It's like radio frequencies. You get, get in the ballpark, it's still kind of scratchy, and then we're, okay, we're gonna tweak this, tweak this, tweak this, tweak this, tweak this, that kind of thing. So um, I hope that makes sense. I hope that answered a lot of your guys' questions. If you need help, reach out to me. If you want me to actually do this stuff for you, right now I am taking on online coaching clients. So you could hit me, hit me up and we could talk about it and see if there's something I can do to help and maybe see if you're a good fit for my program or not. If not, no big deal. Do the best you can with the information I gave you right here. I'll talk to you soon.